Africa is the origin of man. All human beings started from Africa. And Africa has made big contribution throughout human history. The human beings have been here on earth for four and a half million years. And in most of those years, Africa was making big contribution. I pointed out the invention of fire, the invention of agriculture, of crops, the invention of the domestication of livestock, the invention of iron, all of these were independently achieved in Africa. It seems the problem of Africa started about 600 years ago when the first German man called Gutenberg invented the printing press. And later on, other Europeans invented the, the steam engine and other machines. Which means that one part of the globe, because previously all the other inventions we are always done by human muscle or, in some cases, animal muscle. If a blacksmith was making a hole, he would use a hammer, but the hammer would be wielded by the human muscle. The same with the hole. The same with the axe. It was always human muscle. Or, in some cases, animal power. Like if you read in the Bible, you find that the Egyptians we are using ch chariots pulled by, by horses for transport. But as I said, in 1440, that German man invented the printing press. And later on, the steam engine by some other people, Thomas Savary, in 16-something. And then later on, Stevenson applied the steam power to the pulling of the train, the locomotives. So it seems that's where Africa mi missed the historical bus, shifting from human muscle and animal muscle to machine power. And in that speech of yesterday, I, I gave uh, all the, many details, not all, but many details. And now, when you use machines, 
you produce, if you are using a hammer to make holes, maybe you'll make one hole per day, which means in a year you will make 365 holes. But if you, have used, you are using a machine to make holes, you will make a big number even in one day. Now, once you produce on a large scale, then the next question is, who will buy what you produce? I gave a long illustration of that yesterday. So therefore, the NRM, since the 1960s actually, we have been telling Ugandans that we need to make a number of jumps. What the Muswahil would call Hatua. Step number one is to go from negative tradition to modernity in agriculture. Because you find that many of the Ugandans, and I believe many other Africans, are in agriculture. But many of them are in agriculture that our Bagwere people from Eastern Uganda, they call Okorela Echida Chionka. That's how they describe it in Eastern Uganda. Okorela Echida Chionka. Chirimo Chatumbo Pekeyake. Mutu anarima anashugurika lakina anashugurikia tumbo yake peke yake. Hashugurikie vitu vya kuuza sokoni kumuletea pesa. So, that is step number one. In agriculture, that culture of producing only for the stomach. Even the people who are marking here, who are marching here, I had one of the group that was saying that they were subsistence farmers. <laughs> they passed here. So for us, we are subsistence farmers. They were very proud they were passing here. that for them, they are only working for the stomach. Now, if you work for the, only for the stomach, yes, you get food. But your needs are not only food needs. When we are coming here, I congratulate all of you you have now built better houses because I no longer see grass thatched houses. You are all in my bad houses, cement, bricks, and so on. But that needs money. You need money to build a better house. You need money to have adequate clothes, textiles for your family 